Our gracious Father, we thank you. <clears throat> we appreciate you tonight. Thank you so much for your faithfulness unto us. Thank you for the way you have been watching over us. Thank you for the way you have been sustaining us all the day long. You did not allow the enemy, the devil, to prevail over our soul, over our family. Thank you for your grace upon us, O oh God. Righteous Father, we appreciate you. O oh, pray, O oh King of glory, that to accept all our praises, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty oh, God, we have come tonight. We want to come and seek your face, to tarry in your presence. I pray, O oh God, that, Lord, you will help our infirmities. You will help us to pray aright and to pray through in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for all our brethren who are already relaxed. Probably many of them have zeroed their mind. Maybe there will be no prayer meeting tonight. I pray that the Spirit of God will remind every one of them all together about this prayer meeting, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We want to appreciate God tonight. The Bible tells us in Psalm 103, and we are made to understand here, it said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. That's why this hour, this moment, we want to appreciate God for the benefit that we have derived from the Lord, the benefit of salvation, the benefit of redemption. If there is anything that makes us to be happy, if there is anything that makes us to be excited, if there is anything that makes us to be vi to be vibrant and to be to be uh, you know to be uh, in, to be militant in our things that we are doing, is because of the joy of salvation. I want to appreciate God and say, Father, thank you, because for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So we have every cause now to appreciate God. Shall we lift up our voices and begin to praise God tonight? Let's open our mouth to give all the glory unto God. Father God, we appreciate you. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus, we reference you tonight. We honor you, God of heaven, tonight. Blessed Father, we praise you because you are God indeed. You are the almighty God, the God that is constantly watching over our soul, over our spirit, our bodies, our family lives. Thank you once again because of the way you have been sustaining us all the day long. And you wouldn't allow the powers of darkness to prevail over us. You wouldn't allow the agent of the enemy to rejoice over our soul. Almighty God, everlasting Father, thank you for the wonderful plan of redemption. Oh, the plan of redemption by giving unto us your only begotten Son, Jesus, to die for us on the cross at Calvary. Oh, God, everlasting Father, God, we praise you. Oh, God, our Father, we appreciate you. Lord, we say thank you. Blessed Father will say thank you. Almighty God will say thank you. Thank you for all that you have done for our redemption. Thank you once again for our salvation. Thank you, Father, once again for our deliverance. Thank you once again for what you are doing even in our lives, oh God. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, we praise you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we say thank you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God once again. I am greatly challenged by the life of our Father in the Lord. That man, look at his age. He has gone to India. And as he's there in India, he still joined them in publicity. And here we are. Some of us will say, 
just go for publicity. They will put the hand bill in our hand. Some will technically put those hand bills inside the Bible. Some will keep the Bible and they will turn it to rough work. Use it to solve uh, either to be using as jota or do one thing or the other or rough sheets. And they will not do exactly what the Lord is asking us to do. But look at this, this servant of God. He left the shore of Nigeria. Do you know how many kilometers this man has covered in his old age? I saw him climbing one of the one of the convoy. I mean, uh, one of these uh, vehicle meant for publicity at that age, and was waving at the people, going around with them for publicity, to invite people for the program. Oh, I think we need to thank God for this man. I think we need to appreciate God for this gift that God has given to us in this generation. Let's thank him because of his mercy. Let's thank him because of his endurance. Let's thank him because of his love over us. Let's thank him because he's never changed. Everything. I'm expecting all the leaders to promote themselves. So that we can know that we are really online. We just do not own the phone or join us, but when our mind are not there. Let's call upon the name of the Lord as the pastor is saying. Praise the Lord. Uh, Almighty God, we continue to be with the GS, that the grace of the Lord will continue to be upon him. The God that has called him, we continue to back him up. And the glory of the Lord. We continue to shine upon his ministry. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. For all the people, all the uh, pastors that follow him, that God will continue to use every one of them mightily. That the joy of the Lord will continue to be their strength. And their labor will not be in vain. They pray the Holy Ghost 
spirit of the Lord. We take total control of the crusade in India. Already, we have not had it, but we haven't seen it. Some of us, we have seen the pictures. Some of us, we have listened to the, to the clips. Some of us, we have watched the video. This has shown us the mighty things God is doing in India. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. We the, the, mini, the church is not doing it for the purpose of popularity, but to win the soul. Do not, but do not forget the title. Ah, uh, the General GCK. Um, the intention of starting the GK, GCK. That all the soul must be touched. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. God will continue to energize all the teams that are functioning silently. That God will continue to energize them in the name of Jesus Christ. That's GS. God will continue to bless him, and the glory of the Lord will continue to shine upon him. In the name of Jesus. In Let's Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. We want to pray once again tonight, brethren. We want to first of all pray for our Father in the Lord, who is already there together with his wife. And perhaps maybe with all his entourage, some of our key leaders over there. Number one, we want to pray that the hand of God will be so mighty upon his own servants, the power oh, of no. God will rest mightily upon him. The kind of oh, miracles, no. the kind of miracle we have never witnessed in Africa, or maybe since the commencement of this GCK. We want to pray to God and say, God, we want to witness an unprecedented revival in that oh, land. Oh, God. Salvation, deliverance that we all shall in so many spectacular miracles. Shall we open our mouth and sing to call upon the Lord? Open your mouth and call upon the Lord and say, God of heaven, oh God. India, Jesus this seat of seven let your own be upon our Lord. Oh God, your mighty arm upon that man so mightily, oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, lay your hand upon your servant, O oh God of heaven. Your invisible hand of power. Your mighty hand of power. O oh God, I'm asking my Father. Lord, oh, let your Lord. hand come upon him, O oh God, as Almighty oh, God, I'm asking my Father, God, let that be the of the mighty Spirit of God, my Father, was again, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, everlasting Father, God, be to God, in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 You know, Jesus Christ said, he said, except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. I was listening to uh, Archbishop Idaosa's testimony, how God started with him at the age of 24, how he started raising up the dead. He said he was going to a particular church. And in that church, I think they read uh, Matthew chapter 10 or chapter 9, where it was written that Jesus Christ said, as he go, 
preach the gospel, heal the sick, uh, cleanse the leper, raise the dead. Uh, he now told this. He said, "Is it true that this thing? Who said this?" <laughs> the 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 pastor of the church told him. He said, "It is Jesus that said it." Uh, he said he want to practice it, that he knows that he from house to house. He began to go from house to house. He said, "Is there anybody that is dead here?" He said, "He, he said he went round until eventually he was able to get one." And to call the long story short, while he prayed, he followed the biblical principle, and that young girl, a small baby, came back to life after the prayer. About three weeks later, they said another one again. This one was eight year old boy dead he said bring him bring him he prayed for that one that one also came back to life he said that's how miracle started we are going to pray that as our father in the lord has gone to india we want to hear that the dead are, re are raised up to life we want to hear those who are totally dead like lazarus four days three days already lifeless bow of god came upon them and they came back to life those who are having terminal diseases, the mighty power of God, breaking all the shame and all the yokes in their life. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray? Please open your mouth and join me and ask the Lord. And say, God of heaven, oh God, we want to experience the mighty miracle, the move of God, even in the nation of India. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's talk to the Lord. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. That the power of God be mightily present. The mighty, the power of God be mightily present to deliver, to liberate, to break all the shame. And God will use his servant to raise the dead, back to life in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying, brethren? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God, Lord, that the Spirit of God will use his servant to go. The mighty Spirit of God begin to move in an unprecedented manner, right in the nation of India, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be spectacular miracles, spectacular signs and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray for the conversion of souls in that place. It's a place that is given to Buddhism. It's a place that is given to Hinduism. We want to pray and say, God, Lord, let your mighty spirit begin to arrest the heart of the people and bringing them unto salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The eyes of the people become open, open to know the Lord, open to know the truth, open to follow the way of righteousness, the way that leads to heaven, the way of heaven. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's call upon the Lord tonight. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's thank the Lord and say, God, you cannot fail, O God. You are the one that sent us out into all the world. He said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Open your mouth and ask God. And say, God, let your power begin to move in an unprecedented manner. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We want to pray now. We want to pray for all our pastors on this platform. Of course, it's possible that many of them are forgotten. Even myself. Actually, the thing actually escaped my mind, thinking that because of the minister's program and all that. So, but maybe some of them are actually forgotten. But we are going to pray for them. We are going to pray for all our brothers, all our sisters, all our pastors. We want to pray that the Spirit of God will renew their strength. They have been toiling, they have been laboring, they have been working tirelessly for the Lord. We want to pray that the hand of God will be so mighty upon each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord? Let's ask God and say, Father, once again, O oh God, renew the strength of all your servants, O oh God, all our brothers, all our sisters, who have devoted their time, even their time, their energy, everything, even for the sake of this program, 
the ones to pray that the good hand of God will rest mightily upon every one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will renew their strength. The Lord will uphold them even in the faith. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the grace of God will keep on multiplying in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray for the multipli for the multiplication of the grace of God in our lives. Let the grace of God increase and multiply in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, call upon the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and pray to God now. And say, God, increase your grace in my life, O God. The grace of God. The grace to overcome in the battle of life. The grace to overcome every temptation. The grace to be steady in the Lord. The grace to be steadfast in righteousness. The grace to be steadfast in holiness. The grace to continue to look unto Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith. The Lord will grant unto us that grace in our soul, spirit, and bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We want to pray Recording for in progress. We want to pray for as many of our leaders, pastors, or maybe their family relations that are sick sick in their body because of one challenge or the other you know recording all the stopped hustling bustling activity can make them to be sick as well we want to pray tonight that the mighty power of god will touch as many who are sick in their body connected to this platform the holy ghost will begin to heal them the holy ghost will begin to raise them up the bible says, by the stripe of jesus we are healed. We want to make a pronouncement. We want to make a decree. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray to God now? And say, God, as many who are sick, sick in their body, sick in their system, sick, you know, sick in one area or the other, either fever or whatever it is, we want to pray that the power of God begin to heal them now. Holy Ghost begin to walk upon their body now, upon everyone that is sick. Oh Lord, having one infirmity or affliction anywhere. We want to pray that the Holy Ghost begin to put everything out, even right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Amen. God, I'm asking, oh Lord, will lift up as many who are sick in their body, sick in one area or the other, having one infirmity, afflictions, oh God. Lord, I pray that the mighty power of God begin to walk upon every one of them, oh God. Every sickness, every disease, every affliction, Mighty God, I'm asking, O oh Lord, begin to remove everything now by the power of the Spirit of God now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let your healing power begin to flow into every life now. Almighty God, in Jesus' name, every infirmity, every sickness, I command you right now. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> your disease, your affliction, your infirmity, I speak the word of the Lord Jesus Christ unto you now. You mountain, be thou removed now. And be thou cast into the sea of forgetfulness right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We want to pray now. We want to tell the Lord for all our brethren who are actually of age. And yet they have not known the will of God. We want to pray to God on, on their behalf. Whatever thing that the enemy is using to cover the spiritual sides, they cannot see, and, and it appears as if they cannot see the sister, they cannot see the brother concerned. We want to pray that all those blankets of the enemy, all the veil that is covering the spiritual sides, we want to tear them into pieces tonight. And we want to pray and say, God, let there be clear revelation from heaven unto them concerning their life partner in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Ghost will arrange for their coming together in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray right now? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's pray. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God, all our brethren, oh God of heaven, who have been asking and praying and say, God, 
They want to know the will of God in the area of marriage. They want to have, they want to have their own life partner. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, begin to lead them, O oh God. Whatever thing that is covering the spiritual side to God will tear those blankets from the enemy, will tear them into pieces now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let your spirit and power begin to work mightily once again upon the life of every one of them, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, lead them to the appropriate brother, lead them to the appropriate sister. Almighty God, I'm asking that we don't go outside your will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, only your will be established in their lives. Only the will of God be established, O oh God, for them, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray. We want to tell the Lord. We have entered a new week. And of course, the year is almost coming to an end. We want to hand over our lives, our family, our wives, our husbands, our children, our acquaintances, our relations, everybody connected to us. We want to hand them over to God. We want to pray to God and say, God of heaven. Let God keep us and preserve our lives. No evil will befall anyone. No accident will claim our life. Evil report will not be our portion. Oh, look, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let's commit our individual family lives into the hand of God. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray and say, God, keep us, O oh God, in the day, in the night, O oh God. When we are traveling, keep us. When we are sleeping, keep us. When we are going to work, keep us. In our workplaces, keep us. Preserve us, O oh God. No evil will befall anyone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, Lord, that to keep everyone, O oh God, that to preserve us, O oh God, by the power of your Spirit, O oh God. No evil will befall anyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Our life will not be cut short in the name of Jesus. Sickness will not cut short our lives. Affliction will not cut short our lives, O oh God. Accident will not cut short our lives, O oh God. Calamity will not cut short our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, we decree goodness and mercy will follow us, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as we enter this new week, O oh God, let your goodness and your mercies, O oh God, overshadow every one of us all together in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. As a round up now, we are going to pray. We are going to tell the Lord that every determinate counsel of Satan, every determinate counsel of demons, evil spirits, powers of darkness against our individual lives, against our family lives, against our wives, against our husbands, against our children. If you need to mention the name of your children, please do that. Against even our business enterprise, against our finances. We want to pray and say, God, every determinate counsel of the enemy, oh God, begin to frustrate them. Oh God, let by the blood of Jesus Christ, we frustrate all the counsel of the enemy against our lives in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord now. Let's open our mouth and call upon the Lord. Oh God, every determinate counsel of the wicked, every agenda of air against my life, against my wife, against my children, against Esther, against Ella, against Olamide, against Samuel. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, every determinate counsel of the wicked, oh God, Father, begin to frustrate them. By the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, we frustrate all the plan and the program of the wicked right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking, oh Lord, Lord, begin to dismantle all the plans, all the programs of the enemy. Let everything be shattered into pieces, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, only your counsel will stand for our lives, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. 
our yeah. time is fast then please i hand over to pastor matthew please sir uh, I'll take over for you. because of our time and then for the preparation uh it gives the uh a similar in the in the night I will just advise that we share the grace and then we quickly anybody we can inform so that they will be aware that we miss them online. Uh I don't know why we miss uh, uh Pastor Omar Ewa. Is it not this week week the burial of the mother in law or not? Uh, I think it's it is a... uh uh-huh. so, so. I think that's why we miss him online. Oh. Okay. So, let's share the grace together. Ah, help me to get in touch with Pastor Omar Ege to okay. be able to take care of the uh, assembly line in the night. That would be 1 o'clock. Okay. Uh, and 2 o'clock of your own time. So, God okay. will help us in Jesus' name. Let's share Thank the grace you. together. Mm. With the I grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The love, of the love of God and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. We shall meet in the next. Amen.